Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Now, today we're actually going to do something a little bit different. We're going to go ahead and change the hard drive in the laptop. And this time we're actually going to be looking at an HP 15. To be exact, let me look up the model number here. Um, it's going to be a 15 F272WM. And we're going to go ahead and change the hard drive in this. The hard drive in this computer has failed completely and it needs a new one. So. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video and stay tuned. All right guys, so the first thing that we're gonna go ahead and do is turn the laptop around and remove the battery. After that, we're going to remove the RAM cover. This is held on by two screws, one on each side. And make sure you use something flat to pry it out because this case, this cover is actually pretty hard to remove just with your hand. As you can see, I actually had a difficult time doing this uh, just with my fingers. So I went ahead and took my own advice and used something flat to just put right in the middle of it and pop the clip so it actually comes out. After you remove that cover, the next step is to remove every single screw that's visible to you. That includes screws under the cover you just removed. Now we're going to go ahead and speed through this part of the video since it is pretty simple. Every single screw you see, take off. With all the screws out, you are now free to pull out the DVD drive. Under the DVD drive, you'll notice that there are more screws. Please remove those before you continue. The next step is to turn the computer around and remove the keyboard. Now the keyboard is only held on by clips and one screw in the back, but of course you've already removed that screw. So now just find that same flat device that you used to pry open the RAM cover and slowly take off one corner. Once you pry one corner of the keyboard, you should be able to just pull up on, on it slowly with your fingers and it should come right off. Once you have pried the keyboard up, be very careful, there is a flex cable attached to the motherboard. Make sure you lift up the little black tab on that connector and just remove the flex cable. Now under the keyboard you will find more screws. Now keep in mind, these are different sized screws, so keep them separated. You have to put these back exactly where they belong, don't mix them up with the other ones. The next thing to do is to remove the other two flex cables that are attached to the motherboard. Now these are for the um, mouse pad and the other one is for the power button. Please be careful with these. Make sure you lift up on the tabs before you pull them out just like you did with the keyboard. The next step is to pry your computer apart. For this, I am using a plastic guitar pick. The reason for this is because I don't want to scratch the computer, but I still want something strong enough so I can pry it apart. As you will notice, I turned the computer on its side and on its back. The reason for doing this is because it gives me an easier leverage on actually prying the system. And I don't have to worry about dropping it. Never hold the computer in the air while doing this. 
Just set it down comfortably however it feels right to you. Now this should be an easy process. It shouldn't be too hard to pry this apart. If you hit a snag though, don't pull on the computer or the parts too hard because you might break a clip. In this case, you'll notice that I couldn't get a certain connector to separate. So I turned the computer back around and tried to see if I missed a screw. Um, and in this case, I thought that the Wi-Fi card screw was holding something together. Um, in reality, it wasn't. I just didn't uh, unhook one of the uh, uh, clips inside. But I'm glad I checked anyways because I did not want to break this computer. Once you remove the cover, you're going to go ahead and clearly see the hard drive in front of you. There is a flex cable going over the hard drive for this computer. Just go ahead and unhook that flex cable. It's going to be the same connector that the um, keyboard had, same type of connector. Now in, for this computer, I had to go ahead and completely remove the board that was attached to that, which was the USB and audio jack board. The reason for this is because I could not pry the uh, or lift the hard drive up unless I remove this board. Unhook the SATA connector from the hard drive and the next step is to change the caddy from the old hard drive to the new hard drive. The caddy is held on to the hard drive by four screws. They are still Phillip head screws. Now these are very different than everything else you have removed, so please make sure you keep these separated. And just put in the new hard drive exactly the way that you're taking off the other hard drive from the caddy. Voila, ladies and gentlemen, we have done it. The hard drive has changed. So now the next step is pretty much to do everything you just did in reverse. Now the goal here is to not have any extra screws. You'd be surprised how many technicians actually have extra screws and then they're just like, oh, it's just extra screws. But I believe that every screw is important to the system. So I'll go ahead, this, I'm going to go ahead and just let you guys watch the video of everything in reverse or the, the rest of the process and I hope you enjoyed the video. Now if the video helped you please go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, please share. You never know it might help somebody else too. And thank you very much guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one.